Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. I'm good. good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good to see. It's good to see the the regulars as always. <laughs> You're you you guys are the ones that are always there all the time at the very beginning. <laughs> it's excellent. Yes. Okay. Um all right. Um well, how was your day, Jorge? My day is it's going fine, fine. Uh, I have uh, a little show, a little work, mm. but uh, um, it's good. It was good. It was good? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Excellent. And um, how about you? How was your day, uh, Denise? Um. Uh, it was like my Jorge. It was a very easy day, peaceful oh, really? day for me. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, you you um you had a good day then. Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. That's that's important. It's important to have a good day. Okay. Good. And how about your day? How how was your day, Carlos? Uh, my day was cool, cool, miss. <laughs> it was what? Cool. Very cool. Oh, cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I heard cold. Yes, cold. cold. No, uh, cool, cool. Cool. Okay, bueno, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, excellent. All right. Yeah. Um, what, I, why I, was it so cool? I worked uh, very hard, very, and uh, I made a uh, I made a reportage reportage, and uh, I I film I film the very things. And I I I go I uh, we. I go. I I went. No, I went. Yeah, yes. I went at. Uh, I went to the to the Apaneca. Oh. Yeah. It's, oh, that uh, sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, and um, um, I feel very tired, but but uh, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. So you you had a um a very uh, what's the word? Well, uh, eventful. But I guess that that would be the word. Eventful day. L yeah. Lots of lots of events. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. I think. That, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. I think, okay. Yes. Good. 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 Excellent. Okay. All right. Um. Eh, hello, Raquel. Are you there? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good. Good. Um, do you have your problems with the camera? I have problem. Sorry. I have problem with my camera. You you have problems with the camera? Yes. Oh, okay. So you can't turn it on. No. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, all right. Um, are you are is everything okay though? Or just it's just the camera. Raquel? Yes. Is is everything okay or is 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 it just the camera? Mm, camera. Only the camera. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. How was your day then? Mm 
How was your day? Hello, Raquel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, repeat, please. How was your day? I'm um, fine. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Um, excellent. All right. Um hello Carlos Eliezer. Hello, miss. How are you? Um, I'm fine. And you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> how how was your day today? Uh today uh very well. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay, good, good. Anything interesting that you did today? Uh, can you repeat that? Did you do anything interesting today? Mm, I don't get it. Today, did you do something interesting? Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting? Interesante? Ah, yes, yeah. Today, yes, yes. Yeah? It's interesting, yes. Yeah. yeah. What What did you do that was interesting? Uh, because in the morning, I go to uh, uh, other company. Oh. And, yes, and we we talk and uh, with others, other person. Oh, okay. That sounds yeah. interesting. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Hello, Sarah Rochel. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. How was your day today? My day, good, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Anything interesting happened today? The same activities. The same activities? Yes. Really? Okay. Okay, I see. Um, okay, just a second, guys. Okay, um, all right, guys, very good. Um, we're going to start with the attendance right away because um, I think I would like to advance. Um, class, I see that there are many of you, like half of the class I don't see. You don't have your cameras on and I need your cameras on for the attendance. Um, so if you could, if you could help me with that. That would be wonderful, okay? Uh, even if you are um, like just as a, as a listener, I need you, you to open your cameras for the attendance at least, okay? Okay, so here we go. Um, Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Asalia, would you do me a favor? Can you put your complete name in the, because I, I see that your, your name is not complete like in the Dewey. Can you, can you do, can you do me that favor changing? Yes, it's completion. Uh, es que eh, según, según tengo en mi lista, uh, le falta su apellido de casada. Uh -huh. tiene que, es que tiene que ir exactamente como está en el Dewey. Okay. Es que no lo uso porque tengo 13 años separada, pero no he arreglado mi Dewey, entonces. <risa> Yo le entiendo. <risa> pero um, sí, es que según, se, según... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Los, 
las normativas, ¿verdad? Tiene que ir justo así como, como es en el, en el DUI. Para que... Ah, ajá. Es la primera sí. vez que me dicen porque he estado en los cursos anteriores y no, 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 no ha habido problema. Sí, así es, es lo, lo que se, se pide ahí a, a, a todos los alumnos um, para que, que puedan, o sea, lo, lo que sucede es de que la plataforma eh, le, le registra cuántos minutos ha estado conectada. Entonces, tiene que ir de acuerdo a, al, al, al DUI, ¿verdad? Para que, para que se pueda identificar que es usted, ¿verdad? Entonces tiene que ir a hacer curso como está en el DUI. Ok. Ok. Um, Carlos Alberto Orrego. Uh, yes, Miss. Ok. Thank you. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Right. Thank you. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I'm here. Ok, perfecto. Eh, Denise Alejandro Zúñiga. Present. Perfecto. Uh, Diana Yamile Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Edith, creo que la había visto conectada o no. So, um, Emerson Adir Reyes. Emerson Adil Reyes. No. Okay. Uh, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Perfect. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Marlon Daniel Miranda. María Elizabeth Lazo. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Ok, wonderful, thank you very much. Um, Raquel, uh, yo sé que siempre está teniendo problemas ahí con la, la cámara, pero eh, no se preocupe, manténgala así. Por lo menos sabemos de que allí está. <ríe> así que no se preocupe. Ok. Ok. Um, Sandra y Beth Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Ok, very good. Sara Rachel Salazar. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Sergio Chamorro Calero. No. And Vilma Elizabeth Arquian. Vilma Elizabeth. No. teacher. Ah, perfect. Okay, welcome. Okay. Eh, gracias, chicos, por um, conectarse, a pesar de que sé que algunos tienen ciertas situaciones. Eh, la verdad, no he podido eh, leer todos los mensajes que me han llegado, porque son varios, eh, pero tengo una, una leve idea de, de algunos ahí que, que, que tienen situaciones. Ok, um, sí, así que every time that you have a situation, um, try to connect Um, even, you know, if you have to connect with your camera off, um, just turn on the camera for the attendance and, and then, you know, whatever happens, right? But, but try to connect. The important thing is that you, that you are connected so you don't lose that time. Okay. Um, okay, so um, let's uh, continue. We are going to um, start with our attempt, sorry, our, our PowerPoint. Please tell me if uh, you can see my PowerPoint.
and we can see now. <clears throat> yes, teacher. All right, excellent. I, get, so, I can see it to your PowerPoint. Wonderful, thank you. So this is the Course English for Work program. It's day number 13. The date is Thursday, June 1st, 2023. Can you imagine it's already, um, it, it's already June, it's amazing. Um, okay, so let's take a look here. Um, remember, we wanna keep this in English. So um, if you have a question, try to make your question in English, even if it's not perfect, but try to make it in English. So you can ask, so if I ask you any questions, you can ask me, excuse me, can you repeat that? Can you speak more slowly? Um, how do you spell and then you say the word? Um, what is the answer for number four? Um, how do you say, and then you say the word in English? Or what does, and then you say the, the word um, that you don't understand mean? Or um, how do you pronounce this word? Okay. All right. So yesterday, we started talking about making polite requests. And we saw that we can make polite requests in two different ways. The first way is saying, could you, right? Could you blah, 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 blah. Right, so um, um, whatever it is that you want to say. Over here, just you got to make sure that here we use the verb in the, uh, the base form. Okay, so here. over here has to be verb in base form. Always, 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 always. Why? Anybody know? Do you have any idea? No idea? Okay. Because because we request for an action right now. Uh yeah, that's true. That is true. But really uh, the reason has to do with um the fact that could is what we call a modal auxiliary. And with all modal auxiliaries, we use the verb in the base form. So anytime you have words like could, can, will, would, um, may, might, should, um shall any any time you have words like that we always 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 put the verb in the base form okay that's a rule that that doesn't have exceptions okay um so all the time you have words like could can should shall will would may might, um, I can't think of any others. Mm -hmm. So, um, have to, after, after those, those words, we always have to use the verb in the base form. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, over here, we have, would you mind? That's another way that we can, um, that we can make requests. So you said, 
Would you mind? Okay. Would you mind? And then we have the verb. Sorry, the 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 verb here. And how do you make that verb? What do we use? The um, gentleman. Mm hmm Good. So I we're going we're gonna to be using the gentleman. Form. Yeah. yeah. ING exactly. form. ING form. Or which which is the same thing as a gerund, right? It's the same thing. I think I've told you this before, right? That gerund or ing form. We'll just we'll just put ing form. It's because it's it uses it, but it's really the gerund. Now, but I just told you that after would we always use base form. Entonces. Why are we using the ing form? If I just finished tol telling you that after you would, we always use base form. No idea? No, I don't remember. Yes. Okay. Well, it's true. We always use the base form after would. Look, it's right here. Here's the base form mind okay mind is in the base form after mind we're going to be using ing form but mind is already in the base form okay so the verb after the modal auxiliary always goes in the in the base form okay does that make sense for everybody Yes, no? Yes, yes miss. Yes. Yes, miss. <clears throat> yes. Okay. All right, good. Excellent. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is the following. Yesterday, I sent you um, <clears throat> I sent you this. Right? Do you remember that? Do you remember this, guys? Yes, yes, miss. Okay. Yes, so, yes. So what I'm going to ask you to do is, okay, you already did this, which shouldn't have taken you very long because all you're doing, all you were doing is um, trying to think about what requests do people in your workplace make, whether it's you making it or people make it to you. And so what you're going to do now is you're going to be taking turns with a partner and you're going to role play conversations, short conversations on how to ask for these polite requests. So you can say, um, you know, imagine that I and Carlos are working together. OK, so um, Carlos, uh, I would say, eh, Carlos, uh, would you would you mind uh, calling uh, the doctor, um, uh, my doctor, and making an appointment for me? Imagine, okay. I don't know. Okay, no problem. Okay, yes. see, it's as simple as that. Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do because uh, Carlos did exactly what you're supposed to do. You are going to answer short answers. That that's what you expect when you when you answer when you ask questions like would you mind? So normally you do not answer, um, no, I wouldn't mind, or yes, eh, I wouldn't mind. No, you would just say yeah for sure, um, right away. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Blah blah blah. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody, or do you want me to explain again? It's clear. It's clear? Okay. All right. In that, that case, since it's clear, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms for you to practice. But I want, I need to, I know 
um, who is actually here and participating because um, I, I I got lots of um, of messages from people saying that they can't participate. So I'm I'm a little confused right now. Who's who? Who can't participate and who can? So um, all right. So just to make sure, Vilma, are you able to participate? Vilma Elizabeth. No teacher. No. Okay. Thank Good you. Morning. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. Um, Asalia, are you able to participate? Sorry. It's okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Um, Ana Victoria, are you able to participate? Teacher, I am busy in another activity. Okay. Okay. No worries. I just wanted to know. Okay. Perfect. So what I'll do is I'll put uh, Vilma and no. Sí. Mira, mira. Uh, Ana Victoria sí se sí puede, ¿verdad o no? Perdón, ya me confundí, perdón. Oh, Asalia, Asalia, you can. Ahí está, ok, perfecto. Perfecto. Okay. Um, all right. So what I'll do is I'm going to put uh, Anna, Victoria, and Vilma in one group so that they they don't have any problems. Um, Okay. All right, so everybody should be able to have a partner now. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to practice. Remember, practice using could you or would you mind? And when the, your partner asks you for for um, for request, make sure that you give them short answers, right? Like, oh, you know, right away, don't worry, sure, that's not a problem. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Let's let's practice the polite request. Mm, do you want to start or me? Okay. I start. Okay. Um, Rachel, would you? Send me a personal list, please. Um, repeat, please. Could you send me the personal list? Personal list. Please. Please, I know I understand. Personnel. El listado de personal. Personal list. Could you send me? Could you send me? Send me. La respuesta sería de is could you? Could you send me? Oh uh, no. It should be yes. 
yes, yes, I, yes, I can. Oh, uh, uh, yes, immediately. Something like that. Yeah. So we're gonna answer with short, um, short answers. Uh, very, you know, that that show that you you want to do that request, or you say, oh, right away, sure, not a problem, things like that. So uh, that shows that you are willing to to do that action. Okay, Raquel? Does, does that make sense? Raquel? Good. Mm, no entiendo muy okay. bien. Okay. So, Raquel, so, okay, so Raquel, um, Ismael is asking you for a request. Can you repeat the request, Ismael? Uh, Rachel, could you send me the personal list, please? Okay. What, what is his request? <laughs> What, what is the request? Podrías decirme la lista del personal, por favor. Eh, no, no la lista de personal, no se le puede decir, sino que se la puede mandar. Mm. La lista del personal. Okay. Mm, so, ver. okay. What are you going to answer? You're going to answer something short, like, sure, no problem. I will do it. You know, something that shows that you are willing to do that action. You have no problem in doing what he asks you to do. Okay. Okay? Okay. Yeah? Respuestas pequeñas. Y... Short. Short, yeah. Okay. Okay? All right, good. Okay, let's change. Okay, Hi, girls. Teacher, Hi. teacher, Hi. help me, help okay. us. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm here, okay. <laughs> I just, just stand up when you send a break a room. And uh -huh. so I, I'm not yeah. sure what are we doing. Okay. So I, thought... I just remember uh, construction sentences about the making cool. Okay, good. Asalia, what are we doing? Teacher, um, I am dining. Sorry? I am dining. Okay, okay. That, that's fine, but, but you are participating. No, 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 es que no es, no, 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 o sea, no había nada que hacerlo porque eh, esto es lo que yo les mandé de tarea ayer. Ah, eso sí lo hice, teacher, aquí está. Okay. Okay. ok, that's it, eso, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Lo de la uh, work. Yeah, so you're making requests, so, eh, so, Azalia. Um, for the home, you uh, for the homework, I ask you to make requests. What what is one request? Okay. Okay. So give me the request, Asalia. Give me one request. Um, um, for example, a uh, boss uh, a system. I need the digit. I need the the day of the deposit in bank of the day. Use it, please. Okay. Okay. Good. But yeah, yeah. You're you're right. That's okay. But we are practicing using "Would you mind?" or "Could you." So not just saying I need. It's like when you say in Spanish, podrías hacerme tal cosa. En vez de decirle necesito tal cosa, podrías hacer esto. ¿Te importaría hacer esto? Eso es lo que estamos practicando. O sea, no solamente nos estamos limitando a decir necesito tal cosa. Porque necesito tal cosa suena como que, o sea, me está mandando. Mientras que cuando uno le dice, 
eh, ¿podrías hacerme tal cosa? ¿Te importaría hacer esto? Es como ya un... Consulta. Ya un una, una consulta y, y entonces le está pidiendo ayuda y es diferente de que le está mandando. Help me and bring, bring me tea, me tea report of May 13 one please. Okay, so we are practicing could you and would you mind That's what we're practicing right now. So, could you and would you mind? Okay, you have to use. Oh, bueno, lo, lo, lo voy a escribir otra vez. Okay, so, could you and would you mind? Okay. Eh, Asalia, your 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 microphone is closed. Sorry, Tisha. It's okay. I would like to serve customer on one state, please. Can, can you repeat that again, Natalia? I would like to serve customers on one state, please. Okay. I would not say, would you mind? Eso, o sea, le he escrito ahí en, en el chat. Mira usted ahí en el chat. No, en el chat de Zoom. Sí, ya es teacher, es que me cerró aquí el cuadro. Ah, ok. Ok, so, in, in Zoom I wrote, could you... Would you mind? Estamos practicando. Oh. Tienen que eh, empezar con eso. El, o sea, el, 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 el punto de ese yes. ejercicio es poder practicar eso. Ah, would, entonces, could sí. you, would you mind? Would you like, uh, sería, would you like to serve a customer on Wednesday? On Wednesday, please. Okay. Good. Sandra, Sandra Ivette, how would you answer? Sandra? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Could you repeat again, Asalia, please? Would you mind like to serve customers on Wednesday, please? Okay. Would you mind serving? Le importaría servir. Would you mind serving? Service. Customer. Customer. One, one state, please. Yes, I would like. Um, Give okay. me one a moment. Yeah, so try try to make it so that it's like it sounds like like a, a short answer uh, right away. Um, no problem. I'm sure I'll take care of it. Okay, so short answers. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, Italia. You're welcome. <laughs> I. Hi girls, are you finished or what happened? Yeah. Finish. Okay. okay, good. I'll see you in the maid room in about two minutes. Okay. If you can think of other requests, you can continue practicing. Okay.
Could you give me another laptop, please? Be because the, the last one is is broken. Could you give me a new laptop? Because the last one is broken. The laptop, the laptop is, is broken. Yeah. Feedback of the of the meeting. And I uh, can could, could you could you give, give me, me uh -huh. feedback of the meeting? Okay. Hmm? And, and the answer you say yes, of course. Yes, of course. Ah, okay. Huh? Um, in the number four, um, could you uh, explain? Okay. All right. Um, so class, I want to make sure that everybody understands how to make requests and to answer for requests. So we're going to do it here in the class together. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to choose somebody. Um, Denise. Yes. Could uh, could you um, send me the report uh, tonight? Yes, teacher, right away. Okay, great. Very simple, right? So I say, could you send the report? And she says, yes, teacher, right away. Very simple, short answers. Okay, Denise, continue there with another uh, another student. Anybody you want to choose? I can choose anybody. Somebody or oh, any yeah, choose um, anybody you want. Okay. And I'm I make the question. Yeah. The request? You you make the okay. request and they will follow. Okay. Um Sandra. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sandra. Could you help me? Could you give me a feedback of the meeting? Could you repeat, please? Could you give me a feedback of the meeting? Ah, okay. Uh, yes, of course. I uh, just sent in uh, one moment. Okay, perfect. There you go. Very, very good. Okay, now you continue. Me, teacher? Yeah, you choose. I, I choose a victim. Yes. <laughs> I choose a Yes, a you can Diana. choose a victim. I choose Diana. Jamilet. Okay. All right, Diana. 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 Oh, teacher, in a moment, please. Okay. I... No worries. Take your time. Yeah. 
Okay. Then, uh, could you give me a new laptop, please? Okay, yeah. Okay. But when you when do you give me that the new laptop? Can you repeat the, 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 the request again, Sandra? Could you give me a new laptop? And when you can you give me? Okay, let, let's keep it simple. Just just let's make the first the, the request. Simple as that. Just okay. The, could the pure... you give me could you give me a new laptop? Yes. Okay. Uh, normally we we say a little bit more than just yes we we yeah. show we show that that you want to do it so i show yes is okay but but we need a little bit more than just yes like yes um right away yes um i'll i will immediately get on that Some, something short but not just yes okay so diana can you give me an example Okay. Yes, I, I will. Mm. 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 Okay. Um, I'm gonna help you guys with this because I, I, I have a feeling that some of you are not really sure how to answer. So, remember we saw this yesterday that like in this short conversation could you call me later sure um could you make 10 copies of this paper right away could you contact the tech support no problem so you can say yes no problem right would you mind calling the plant manager right away uh, would you mind getting an appointment with the hr for me in a minute would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. So short answers, but not just yes, no. Okay? Okay, good try. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so if you guys, I'll, I'll, I'll leave this on so you guys can copy if you want. And the answer. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just leaving this um on for a moment. If you want to copy, copy the information. Okay. Um, answer. Um, yes. Um, right away. Okay. Right away, yes. Right okay. Away. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. Okay. So th that's your answer, Diana. Yes, right away. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Excellent, Diana. You can continue now making a request to somebody in the class. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm going to to um, stop sharing and we can continue. So Diana, you choose your your partner. Okay. I, I, I say partner, some people say victim, but I say partner. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, go you to the back to Remy, please. Um, 
who who is the go, request go, for? Go. Go, you, go no, but okay, but they. Diana, who are you asking? What what's who's your student? Who's the student? Who's the who's your partner? Uh, Ana Victoria. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ana Victoria, are you there? Creo que Ana Victoria no está. Okay, entonces Carlos. Okay. Which Carlos? Oh, okay. Bueno, Carlos es Eliezer y Carlos Alberto. Carlos Eliezer. Okay. Va. Okay, go oh. ahead. Okay. Go you to the back to Remy, please? Uh, of course, in, in one minute. Okay. Very good. Diana, can you repeat the, that request? Can you repeat? Go, no, go, you, could go you? to the, how uh, could you go to the bathroom, to Remy, please? Could you go to the bathroom, did you say? Back, the bank, bank, mm -hmm. bank. To, to the, could you go to the, it's going, to I'm not sure. Remit, Remit. Oh, to, to the bank? Did you say to the bank? Um, to Remit, please. The um, Remesar. Uh -huh. So can you go to the bank, did you say? Yes. Okay, so can you go to the bank to put the remittance? Yes, okay. Okay, so to put the remittance. To could you go to the bank? Could, could you? Go to the bank. Go to the bank. To put the remittance. To, to remit, please. No, to put the put, remittance put. or to send the remittance. Okay. Okay? Okay, for sure. Okay. Good. Uh, all right. Very good. Carlos, you can continue the request to someone. Uh, okay. Um, um, Carlos Alberto. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Car Carlos, could you exp explain me the, the last class? Right away, Carlos. Don't problem. I explain you. Thank you. Great. Okay. All right. Um, Continue, Carlos. Um, let me see. Um, Denise. <laughs> uh, Denise. Uh, okay. Uh, Denise, would you, would you help in? Uh, would you help me with my TV because it's broke? Okay, not a problem. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, do I do I? I have to do another question, teacher. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Continue with somebody else because um, okay. I'm still not, I'm not sure if everybody. Um, is 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 completely sure about how to make requests. So if you can choose people okay. that have not have not passed yet. Okay. Um George, would you would you mind working with the, the presentation with Alex? No problem, Denise. In a minute. In a in a minute. In a minute, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. in a That's minute. okay. Okay, um, Sarah Rachel. Hi. Would you Would you mind um call me tomorrow when you wake up? Uh, sure. Tomorrow I call you. 
Thank you. Okay. So you can choose people that have not passed yet. Is my Mm -hmm. uh, would you uh, gmail the support for checking my computer sure in a minute <clears throat> um, it's my tour for choose one yeah you continue yes Wait. I, I, I still haven't heard everybody and I just want to make sure that everybody understands how to make it. Okay. Um, Rachel. Yes. Okay. Um, would you mind, would you mind Sending me the personal list, please. Yes, no problem. Okay. Continue, Raquel. Um, Sara. Uh, will you make copies in this list? Hello, I'm not here, and I'm here. Can, can you repeat? Sarah, could you make copies in this list? Topic. Copy. Copy. Yes. Copy in this list. Ah, yeah. Eh, no problem. I copy list. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Bravo. Okay. Just remember we have to say would you mind and then we have to use the ing form would you mind sending would you mind uh, buying would you mind working would you mind um, writing would you mind uh, helping etc cetera, etc cetera. or could you and the 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 base form could you help um, could you send? Could you write? Could you uh, buy? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So that's what's important, using that. Okay? All right, guys. We're going to continue. Um, if, if there's no questions, of course. Are there any questions? No? Okay. So I'm going to... Sure, I have one question. Oh, you do? Okay, perfect. Yes. Uh, what is the meaning of would you like? Or would you mind? Sorry. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? It's like saying in Spanish, um, te importaría. Oh. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay. So, te importaría, thank you, thank you. Te importaría uh, ayudarme con este ejercicio? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Okay. So, no more questions or anything else I can help you with? No, Miss. No. Two to difference in the both for one is cool, cool, and the other is wool, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Could cool and, and would. Wool. Yeah, uh, in both of them, they have an L, but the L is silent. Okay, so we do not say cooled. It's not cooled, it's could, could. 
it's not wooled, it's wood. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. Any other questions? Okay. All right, let's continue then. Please tell me if you can see this. I can. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so yes, we have, you. perfect, thank you. So we have some questions for our introduction. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Do we understand behavior? Adelante o atrás, questions? Mm, not, oops. Antes, in Spanish? Uh, no, can no. you explain to me in, uh, in English? Behavior, uh, I think, is um, uh, what, what the people uh, think. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can I can explain in English. Okay. I think it's how, how, how people act, maybe. Perfect, yeah. In your so, work? Yeah. Exactly, how people act, what they do, that's behavior, okay? So if the the way that what, what people do, what, uh, what people say, that's their behavior, okay? So when it says, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? So it means, it, does your company have ways to regulate how people act, what they do, what they say in the company? Okay. Yeah, do it does that do we understand that question? Yes, miss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then yes. name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. So unacceptable behavior is uh the way people act that is not appropriate, that is not considered good behavior. So to give you an example, um, saying bad words in the company is probably something that is unacceptable behavior, right? So saying bad words, like, you know, uh, words that, that are, are swear words, okay? Like, like, for example, F you, right? Things like that, right? That, that would be um, unappropriate behavior or unacceptable. So if somebody says words like that, probably the company is not going to uh, tolerate it and they might even get fired. Okay, so. Uh, for example, Miss, uh, uh, don't eat in your workplace. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That would be, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, it, I mean, not in all companies, right? But in some companies, yes, that would be unacceptable. Okay. So I want you to discuss these two questions with your partner. Okay. Um, actually, not, no, not, not a partner. I'm going to put you into small groups. I think that's probably the best thing we should do. Okay. So I'm gonna send you right now in the the WhatsApp group. I will send you the questions so that you can you know what questions to to discuss. Okay, I just sent it to you. All right. So I'm going to make right now breakout rooms with uh, small groups. Okay, and you can discuss those questions. Here we go, I'm opening the rooms right now.
Hello. Okay. Does your company have regulation about employment behavior? Behavior. Yes, in my in my job I have like um I don't know how to say that, but um like a behavior manual. Um, But yes, we what? have like like some rules that things that we can do. Like a policy booklet? Yes. That that what policy? I'm sorry I didn't hear. A booklet. Mm -hmm. A booklet. What oh, booklet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a booklet is like a small book. Oh, something like, like, like to brochure oh. or something like that. Okay, okay. Oh, in my case, I we have that. And we read them every year. <laughs> every year? Read it every, every, day. every year. Every, no, every, every, every year. day. <laughs> every year. Every year. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But I don't remember. <laughs> It's a really big book. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. I um in my in my job is to um there are three levels. Okay. Okay. Levels. Yes, uh, for example, the first uh, can be, how do you say, llamado de atención. And the second, um, uh, uh, Brian, a note about the, the situation. And this can be, this is when it's not, um, Critical. And the third one is I. Well, for example, one one of the rules. What is? Sorry, I can hear you. Um. I don't I don't know how to say politicas in English. Policize? Policize. Policize. Um, can you give give us an example, please? Policies. Policies. Yes. For example, it is um, not allowed allowed to be absent without priority. Okay. Okay. I can believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did did you did you see? Uh, you're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely, then that is not polite. I'm sorry, it girls. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, ¿qué, qué es lo que están haciendo? The conversation practicing or no? No, I, I, I sent two questions in the chat in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Did you get the questions? Yeah. Okay. Company yeah. have Exactly. Yeah, those are the questions that we, I need you to discuss. Only what those. is the behavior? Behavior is how people act. The way that people act, what people do, what people say. 
Are people? Sorry? I, I don't understand. Okay, behavior is what, how people act. Act is... How people act. It's how people act, what they do, what they say. What is what act? Is what is act? It's like in Spanish. Act. Act. Uh huh. What is act? <laughs> it, it's similar to Spanish. What is act? Chicos, chicas. What is act? Like an like an actor, like an actor. Whole mm -hmm. action. It, yes, it comes from action. An actor acts. What is actor? ¿Qué hacen los actores? The. ¿Qué hacen los actores? Actor is the whole. Tell me in Spanish. Actuar, actúan. Yeah, so how people act. Como las personas? Actúa. Yeah. That's their behavior. So, so how people act, behavior. Yes, is so, in, in negative or positive? Positive or negative? How people act, good or bad? Uh, maybe... My my well ah uh, about employer then my company is angry, for example. Okay, what is okay behavior? What is behavior? Ya, ya le expliqué how people it's act. Action. Tell it's me in Spanish. Action. What is what is behavior? ¿Qué entienden? Comportamiento. Su comportamiento it's, exactly. And maybe is angry enojado. Is yes, but but it's not the the problem is not what they feel, it's how they they act. So okay. I can be angry, but if I'm quiet and I don't do anything, I don't say anything, no problem. I can be angry. But if I'm angry and I start saying bad things to people and 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 you know and even hitting people, then that's a problem. Is so uh, eh, como imperativa, enojada, imperativa, sí, ahí sí, verdad, porque es una acción que tiene. Yeah, so that's el comportamiento. O sea, usted puede estar enojada, y mm -hmm. no hay ningún problema. Enojese lo que quiera, pero si se calla y no hace nada, no problem. Sí, <laughs> the action the employer is a. Uh, it's the it's the uh, behavior, the it's the comportamiento. Face, the face. That's the problem. The face, bad face, or in this? O sea, example? yes, but we're talking about uh, what problems, how how companies regulate the behavior of the employees. O sea, la, la compañía no, le, no la va a sancionar porque le hizo mala cara a alguien. Yes. That's not a problem. Well, well, it is a problem, but it's not... They're not going to do something. The company is not going to do something to you. But if they are going to do something, if, for example, you are mad and Sara, you are angry and you go and you hit Vienna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then then that there is the problem. Okay? okay. Yeah. Then the company is going to say, no, Sara, that is bad. You cannot you cannot be hitting people. So you are going to be, you're going to be suspended for two days and you're not going to receive pay. For a, a, for example, I have a, a um, how do you say error? Mistake? Uh, for example, I have a mistake um, um, work. Mm-hmm. 
for example, it is behavior or not? For no. this action? Well, it depends on your mistake. I know. Ah, yeah. No. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, it depends. Yes. Yes. So, do you understand the questions? I I understand. Yeah. Raquel, do you understand the question? Yes. Okay. Yes, Diana, do you, do you understand the questions? Yes. Okay. Yes, All right. Go ahead and discuss. Okay. This is not a Don't not a rule because it's telecommunication, so the cell phone is using every time. <laughs> yeah, in my case, in my case, is is not is in in acceptable behavior use uh, the cell phone in, in the TV studio when a uh, oh. when a data production. Yes, is don't don't use the cell phone. Don't use the don't use the cell phone during the during the program. Uh, this is yeah, it is it, it is the inacceptable. You you are a cameraman, right? What? Yeah, yeah, yes. Cameraman. Cameraman. Oh. Yes, editor. Yes. Oh. Yeah, is, yeah. Is, this is in inacceptable inacceptable behavior for 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 us. Yeah, is is uh the don't don't use the cell phone during the program program TV. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. very curious. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, other team will be don't lose the things of the office. For example, the I con I don't know how how can I say a conditioner. I uh, cool. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Do they have regulations or no? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. We have. Okay. All right. Denise, um, can you share a little bit of what you were saying about the regulations in your company? And in my company, um, we can't use bad words and we can't like insult anybody. Okay. And we can talk about the salaries of of the bosses, for example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We do, you know, do you know the do you know but, the but you know, but you know. <laughs> you you know Denise. Are the bosses. <laughs> yes. But you are the I boss know. and what what's the problem? <laughs> That's true. Okay. Um okay, but but you were mentioning something about uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh about um how your company regulates what what do they do yes we have a policy i don't remember the word policy booklet book, poli booklet yes mm -hmm. that we read every day every year oh okay. every day or every uh, year no every year and then oh. we have a test about it oh you have a test Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So, so it's not that it's not only that your company has these regulations, but everybody has to know them and they yes. have to read and do a test for them. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Anybody else have something similar like that? Um, I, I have a police in my, uh, in my in my job in the you company have a, you is have a, a uh, 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 police uh, politica police oh policies or or policies okay yeah policies uh, yeah. I have a policies in my company it's in in accept, unacceptable <laughs> for okay. for us is don't use the the cell phone during program TV during the tv program during tv program yes okay all right very good don't use the cell phone okay so that's unacceptable it, it behavior yeah this is okay. this is it's criminal this is unacceptable for my boss okay all right <laughs> very good very good okay um all right what about the rest of you What what are unacceptable behaviors at your workplace? In my in my <laughs> company, for example, we have basic rule, basic rules, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, don't be late, mm -hmm. right? Um, don't res disrespecting. Um, be disrespectful. To our co Just to don't our be dis don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespecting. Disrespectful. To others, mm -hmm. disrespectful to others, uh, co-workers and the bosses. Mm -hmm. um, uh, talk slowly. Talk slowly. Right? Uh, no. Um, not loud. Oh, oh, oh! Don't um talk. Uh, softly. Softly, right. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Basically, uh, we can use the 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 mobile phone. Okay. And we can use um internet, but some some sites just uh, are are broken, right? Uh, like social media, um, uh, entertainment, and uh, etc. Okay. Okay. Very yes. good. All right, anything else? Where, well, we were discussing and a formal role in the companies mm -hmm. is no, no smoking in the closed areas. Okay, very good. And some companies have the role also 
uh, don't have a relationships with the co-workers. Okay. Um, other... Okay. Yeah, very good. Don't love the things. Don't, don't, not, don't, don't do what? It's fine. Don't lose the things of the office. Don't the office. Lose. Don't lost. Don't lost. Don't lose. Lost or lose. Perder. No perder los objetos de oficina. Oh, oh. Okay. Don't lose the things. The office supplies. Lose. Office supplies. Don't don't, don't lose, lose office supplies. Okay. Don't lose the office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't lose the office. pencils. The pencil. <laughs> the scissors, the pencil, the controls, everything. Right. Yeah. Lots of things. Okay. That's the right. computer. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What we're gonna do is move on with the next slide. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. I can see it. Okay. All right, so we have this conversation here. Um, we already talked a little bit about this, but just to make sure that we understand. Um, behavior, who can read it for me? A volunteer to read? Me too. The way, the way that something acts in different situations. Okay, the way that some someone acts in different situations. Okay, so, Sandra, can you give me? Can you read the the examples there? The company expect polite uh, behavior from all the employees. Mm -hmm. Interrupt. Uh -huh. Continue. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Gossiping about co work is rude behavior. Thank you. So this is the way people act in different situations. Okay. So I, I guess, Denise, the talking about your boss's salary is like number three, right? Gossiping. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, very, very good. Okay, so keeping that in mind, uh, we're going to be reading this conversation between Claudia and Raul. Um, I actually, I need two volunteers to help me read. One could be Claudia and the other one can be uh, Raul. I can help. Okay, great. Thank you, Denise. Do you want to be Claudia or Raul? Um, uh, Raul. Okay, wonderful. Who can be Claudia? Hi, teacher. I can be. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. Polite. Sorry. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And she and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Okay. Agree. We shall help him instead. Instead. All right, thank you. Bravo, guys. Okay, so what's the problem in this um, conversation? What are they talking about? The cell phone addiction. Okay, and whose cell phone addiction is it? What did you say? Sorry. Whose cell phone addiction is it? Robert. Robert. Ah, who is? Who yeah. has the addiction? Uh-huh. So Robert. it's 
Robert. They're talking about Robert. He has Robert. an addiction. Okay, so how do they know that he has an addiction? How do they know? Because they saw him in the meeting using his phone. Yeah, they saw him in the meeting using his phone. Good. Okay, now that's a problem. So, um, you know, Robert is using his phone. That's a problem. But what's another problem? in this in this conversation the other problem is that claudia and raul are talk about robert yeah they're right. talking about about their class their, sorry their the co-worker and they, they're not talking about him in a nice way so that's like I said, that's not polite either, right? So it's not so, yes, Robert was doing something that was not right, but also Claudia and Raul, if they continue talking about him, are not are also not doing something that they should be doing either. So my question is, what are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? So what are polite behaviors or good behaviors that you expect? And what are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? Um, we're gonna put your we're gonna go back to them to to the small groups and discuss those two questions. Okay. Do we understand the questions? Teacher could you showing again the picture sure actually i'm going to be um sending the 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 um the question the, the the questions on in the whatsapp group okay so i just sent them right now can you see them? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, everybody can yes, see it? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. So do we understand those questions? Please tell me. If you don't understand the questions, tell me. Don't just sit there, you know, um, don't not knowing what to do now is the moment to to ask questions uh this what is uh how do you mean rude rude, rude. not polite it's the opposite of being polite you understand polite mm. ah okay it's it's, it's a Eh, como que no es cortés o yeah. no es yeah. amable yeah. Yeah. ok, mm -hmm. ah bueno ok, okay. Sure. Yeah. what it means expect expect from expectations to have expectations does that make sense Ismael? expectations expectativas yeah so what do you expect? Okay. So what what are things that you that um you think that your your classmate should sorry your coworker should do? Okay, okay. Okay. All right, everybody understands the questions? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to put you again into the breakout rooms. Short short conversation, okay? So I'll, I'll give you about four minutes to talk about that short conversation. For example, 
for example, mm -hmm. are I expect I expect to my co-workers uh, working group or helping be uh, helping among uh, among us. Yeah. Uh, I understand that. I expect with my co-workers that we work among us, uh, helping among together. us. Together, work yeah. together. Okay, and uh, what are some rude behavior your co-workers are not um, For example, for me, Um, that my co-workers don't, um, oh my God, uh, oh, help me, help me, friends. <laughs> okay. Um, and, the, and, the, and the second question. For example, the your co-workers. Don't don't wanna help you, or don't, don't they or they they don't. be they are I don't intolerant. I don't intolerant. I don't expect with my work coworkers. Don't teach you or don't explain you. Don't. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Mm. I don't think I don't think anything. It's it's. I don't think anything. Um, I have a blo uh, block uh, block brain. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, Rule some known. rule behaviors some rule behaviors we can start with that uh, what are rule behaviors Behavior. for example mm, what are your some co-workers are um, how can I uh -huh. say that I Mm, um, but, Okay. All right, guys. So um, what, what are the behaviors that you expect from your polite behaviors that you expect from your coworkers? Examples? Anybody? I expect um, the co-workers are more polite. Okay, you expect co-workers to be polite, but, but how? How are they gonna be polite? How are they gonna show you that they're polite? Uh, we have a 
we have a uh, respect and honesty among us. Okay, so how yes. do they show you? What are the behaviors? We're talking about behaviors. So how do you, um, how do you, how are you able to show or yeah, show that you have respect? I think teacher that maybe saying good morning or, or just saying hello. It's a polite behavior. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a else? little res it's a little res respect. It's a uh, uh, um yes. Um I don't I, I don't can say how <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know how to how to say that but is no no I I can I can I can explain. <laughs> okay. Maybe you want that you can work together with your co-worker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else uh, that you expect? Thank you. Thank you, friends. <laughs> mm hmm. Anything else? Okay. Well, uh, mm -hmm. I yeah. expect that um, I and my co-workers have a good ambience in the office. Okay. I don't uh, know how it says. Okay, we say atmosphere. At um, atmosphere. Atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> Okay, very good. Um, all right. Okay. Like... Sorry, Miss. Can you repeat the? Could you repeat the the the, the word? Atmosphere. Uh, at... Atmosphere. Can you, can, can, <laughs> can you write in the? Can, can you write in the in the chat? Yeah. Please. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Anything else? Be sure. Yeah. Yes. It's Always right. have, have a stable job. Sorry. Could you repeat that? Always have a stable job. A stable job. Mm, I'm not sure if I understand. Um, is that polite behavior? No, mantenerlo. Stable. Okay. Uh, do you, what is the question? What is the question, Asalia? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que estamos hablando? ¿De qué, de qué estamos hablando? De la expectativa. De lo que espera usted del trabajo. ¿Perdón? De lo que espera uno del trabajo. O sea, lo que mm, tiene que ver No, no del trabajo, de los compañeros. Ah, ¿Qué okay. clase de comportamiento? Eh, eh, um, Entonces, a, um, a good work, a good work environment. Environment. Ok, sure. Ok, very good. Okay, now what are the what are rude behaviors that you do not expect your classmates to make? Rude behavior. Can you give me examples of rude behavior that you do not want and expect? The 
luego, chicos, ya, ya hablamos acerca de esto. So, solo, solo estamos recapitulando. So, if you guys can open up your microphones and just tell me, porque se nos está yendo el tiempo. That they are educator and good companions. Good co-workers. Okay, good. But what are the rude behaviors that you do not expect them to have? For example, I expect that my my co my co-worker does not hit me. Right? That's a rude behavior to, to hit somebody. Another? Insulting people. Okay, insulting, very good. Okay, so you do not expect them to insult you. Mm -hmm. Good, another? Maybe other can be that my coworkers don't smoke near from me. Okay, good. Okay, so you don't you don't want your coworkers to be smoking around you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I I yes no no Go no, on, no Denise no no no. no. Okay, thank you. Maybe saying bad nicknames behind me. Mm, okay, all right. So calling you names. Yeah, call, calling you names. Very good. Okay. But, Nick, but Little Boss is a good nickname. <laughs> yes, I approve that. <laughs> okay. Um, for example, I expect a rule. A rule. A rule what? Uh, that's my co-worker's lies to me, right? Okay, lying to you, good. Okay, excellent. Uh, it will be uh, my co-workers help me mm -hmm. when I when I have a when I will have mm -hmm. a problem in okay. my work. Very good. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So we're going to move on. Please tell me if. You can see my PowerPoint. You see it? Yes, Miss, I can see it. Yes, Miss. Okay. All right, guys, um, just give me a moment. I'm going to go get some water because my throat is very dry. Okay, thank you guys for, for having patience there. Okay, so let's look at the words that we have in bold. Um, so if you notice, we say should, we have the words in. Um, okay, the guard should answer my good morning greeting. Linda should greet from with a firm handshake. The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor. So these are things that we expect people to do. So this is good behavior. Okay. Now, if you notice, um, after should, after we have should, we use the verb answer. Read, use, say. What form are those verbs? In what form? 
basic form. In the basic form. So the original form of the verb. Do you remember what I told you before? That uh, uh, when you use modal auxiliaries, like will, would, could, can, may, might, should, we always use the base form of the verb after. So this is an example. So after should, we use the base form of the verb, okay? Now, when you are talking about something you expect someone not to do, when you expect them, um, when you think that that is a, a wrong behavior, a, an acceptable behavior, a rude behavior, we say should not, okay? So for example, that you should not use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabrielle should not tell uh, sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout at you. So should not is to say that you think that is a bad behavior. And again, after should not, we use the verb in the base form. Okay. So to complete the rule, to complete the rule, we have use should plus the infinitive form or the base form? The base form, base form. Base form. Okay. So we, sh uh, we should use the base form of the verb uh, plus the complement phrase to express a direct suggestion. You should not plus the infinite form or the base form of the verb. Which one? Base form two. Also base form. Okay. All right. Sounds good, everybody? Yeah. Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Questions before you continue? Okay. All right. Um, okay, um, I'm going to... Yes. yes. I'm so... Um, the uh, the use of sure and should not, uh, no matter what is uh, we, you, he. It likes. doesn't matter. Uh, ah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. right. Okay, right. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about. Sorry, just sorry, guys. She did not say, but making requests. She should uh, say writing formal emails. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing there. I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay, <clears throat> let's try this again. Tell me when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. All right, so check. Which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? So when you're writing a formal email, do you, do you not use all capitals? When you're writing formal emails, do you not use capitals? All capitals. Yes, teacher. Yes? So in other words, you yeah. don't you you don't write like this. Um 
for example. Don't use. Yeah, don't use. Don't all use capitals. Like uh, for capitals. Yeah, for example, um, you can if you say like this, like, um, would, would no hold on. Would you mind uh, sending me the report today? If you it's write all, okay, yeah, if you write all in capital, even if you say, would you mind, it sounds rude. Because when you write all in capital, you it's like you're shouting. You're yelling to the person. It's like it's like saying, "Would you mind sending me the report today?" That's rude. Okay. So even if you say in a pol if, even if you write polite words, if you s use all capitals, it sounds like you're being very rude. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I me. Mean, oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next, avoid using the subject important. What do you think about this tip? Do you follow this tip? What do you mean, avoid? Yes. Avoid. It means that you don't do it. You try not to do it. Ah, okay. Okay. So what do you think about that? I, I think because um, one topic or one situation is important for me, but not for my reci reci recipient. Recipient, recipient, right? Right, recipient. okay, yeah. And imagine if if I get many emails with the subject important. So I'm getting like five emails and they all say important. It's not going to tell me anything. And so therefore, I probably won't even pay attention to it. Yeah. No, okay. So yes, definitely. That's a good tip. Use a formal salutation. Do you, do you do this? Use a formal salutation? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I miss. Good. Yeah. If it's a formal yes, letter, teacher. if it's a formal email, you should. Be brief. Be brief, short. Is this good or not? What do you mean be brief? Brief. Brief short. Be free. Brief. Brief, short, so you're not writing a long email. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so guys, um, you know, in Spanish, you you are always like very long. You like you're saying, you know, ah, eh, le escribo para desearle. Éxito en sus labores, blah, 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 blah. And, and you make like this big long paragraph just for an introduction. Don't do that in English. Okay? That's in Spanish. Don't do that in English. If you do that in English, that would be considered rude because you're not being brief. You're not respecting the person's time. They have to read all of that. Okay? What about express clearly why you are writing? Do you do that? Yes. Yes. Everybody express clearly what you're writing? Go to go at the point yeah. of the email. Mm -hmm. Right. Get to the point. Do not use abbreviations. Do you do that? Do you personally do that? Do not use abbreviations. So instead of writing, for example, don't say like, thank you for in the info. Yeah, and I agree. Yeah. So, so don't, 
Yeah, so you would say, thank you for the information, not thank you for the info. Okay? Okay. And uh, do not use smileys. Do you do that? Yeah. Don't, don't use smileys. Yeah. So remember this emojis. is... Yeah, exactly. It's like emoji. Yeah, a smiley is similar to an emoji. It's It's the same idea but it's a little different. This is a smiley. I'll show you what a smiley looks like. That's a smiley. Right? Because in, in, in emails, maybe you won't be able to put um, emojis, but you can put smileys. Don't put smileys. Okay? Avoid using smiley in formal emails. You can write it, if you want, you can write it, an email to your, your best friend and mm -hmm. use smileys but not a formal email, okay? Got it? Yes, miss, I got it. Okay. Got it, miss. All right, I'm going to send you guys, just like yesterday, I'm gonna send you guys um, the, the exercise that I need you guys to uh, work on um, for tomorrow. Um, and um, yeah, we're going to end the class here. So I just am going to take attendance before we leave. Um, Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Carlos Alberto Reo. I'm here. I'm here, Miss. Okay, very good. Uh, Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I hear. Good. Denise uh, Alejandra Zuniga. Present teacher. Great. Diana Jamilet uh, Maravilla. Diana. Present, Wonderful. Edith Adilia Hernandez. Edith. No. Emerson Adiel. Um, Ismael Ernest Boyat. Present teacher. Good night. Good everybody. night. Uh, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Marlon Daniel Miranda. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. My, uh, sorry, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. Sarah Rachel Salazar. Sarah Rachel Salazar. Um, Sergio Chamorro Calero. Sergio. No. And Vilma Elizabeth Arquian. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Raquel. Uh, are you there? Yes. Okay. If you have time, um, you can stay uh, behind, and uh, you can uh, we can discuss any questions that you have. If not, um, we can do it another day, no problem. Okay. So that will be all for uh, for today, guys. I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow, Good night. everyone. Yeah. Good Don't night. forget to do the homework. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye, Miss. Bye, Miss. Bye, bye. Bye. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow. Anybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody knows. <laughs> bye. Yes. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Have a good night. Hello, Raquel. Hello. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo vamos? Ahí ya, más o menos. Más o menos, okay. Sí. ¿Cómo, cómo vamos con, eh, la, con la plataforma? Ya la completé. ¿Toda? Sí. Oh, wow. Ok. Sí. Tengo wow. tiempo bueno. libre en el trabajo, entonces ahí me pongo a, a repasar. 
Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm impressed. Very good, very okay. good. Okay, excellent. Eh, ¿Tiene alguna inquietud? ¿Algo que le esté costando? Mm, bueno, lo que a mí sí me cuesta mucho es hablar. Eso mm -hmm. es lo que más me cuesta. Es como ordenar las palabras o, o tener la idea para, para decirla y, y poder contestar. Uh -huh. como estuvimos ahora practicando eso sí uh -huh. siento que me cuesta bastante pero con el tiempo siento yo de que se va tomando exacto eso es precisamente lo que le iba a decir de que tiene que darse eh, un uh, chance verdad para poder um, hacerlo eh, entonces utilice todas las la oportunidades que le da eh, la clase en si, por ejemplo, si pido alguna opinión o algo así, aproveche de, 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 de poder hablar ¿verdad? en ese momento. Si se equivoca, no hay problema. No, nada, no, no pierde nada. Eh, todo lo contrario, usted gana. Si, si usted se equivoca, pues ahí entonces por lo menos um, usted tiene la oportunidad de ver, ah, así no se dice, se dice así. Entonces, sí. um, ya usted ya no comete ese mismo error. Pero si usted se queda calladita, entonces usted nunca va a saber que tiene ese, ese error. Entonces, siempre lo va a seguir cometiendo. Sí. ¿Ya? Entonces, um, hablando, ¿no? utilice todo ese, cualquier momento que tenga para poder practicarlo. Y entre más usted lo practica, más lo va a lograr. Sí. Um, sí. En inglés tenemos ese dicho, eh, practice makes perf perfect, que tenemos uno en español similar. ¿Sabe usted qué significa? La mm, práctica hacia el maestro. No. La práctica hacia el maestro. Y en inglés decimos practice makes perfection, o sea, eh, el practicar hace la per perfección. Entonces, si usted practica, lo va a ir logrando. Pero si se queda calladita, no va a poder avanzar. ¿Ya? Entonces, um, no se preocupe. Aquí estamos para ayudarle. Pero, pero trate de, de decirlo. Trate de, de sacarlo. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Cómo se siente en la clase? Bien. Es dinámica. Okay. Dinámica porque se hacen muchas actividades y prácticamente de libro. De, uh -huh. Como que va la, la concordancia con lo del libro. Ajá. Sí. Ok. Sí, está muy bien. Ok. ¿Y se siente um, cómoda hablando ahí con sus compañeros y todo? Sí. Okay. Sí, bastante cómoda. Ok, muy bien, excelente, excelente. Eh, ¿Cómo se siente haciendo preguntas? Haciendo preguntas. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, usted está moviendo algún tema y, y no lo capta. ¿Se siente como haciendo preguntas en el momento? En el momento no, porque siento que los demás sí lo, lo, lo captaron al des al principio, uh -huh. pero a mí me cuesta. Entonces, uh -huh. algunas veces sí, yo les pregunto a los compañeros, porque yo, yo lo entiendo, pero son algunas palabras. Uh -huh. Entonces, luego yo les pregunto si es correcto lo que yo entendí, y ellos uh -huh. ya me dicen, sí, sí, así es. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Sí. Ok, bye. quiero que vaya acostumbrándose a hacer preguntas cuando estoy explicando. Es bueno que usted pregunte a sus compañeros y todo. Eso es excelente, ¿verdad? Porque uno puede aprender del compañero. Pero también quiero que usted haga preguntas a mí directamente. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces puede ser que usted dice, no, le voy a preguntar al compañero. ¿Pero qué pasó si el compañero no entendió? Sí, lo que pasó ahora que yo había entendido otra cosa y la compañera no practicar la, la conversación me dijeron ah uh -huh. vaya entonces 
<ríe> sí, porque ya entendí otra cosa. Exacto. Entonces, sí. ah, entonces no, no pensemos, ah, después voy a preguntarle al compañero. Porque para empezar, si el compañero no entendió, ahí quedamos, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué hay si el compañero pensó que entendió? Y le explica, pero, pero le explica de una forma que no es la indicada. Entonces, mejor pregunte en el momento. Es mejor, eh, no, pierda esa pena de que, ay, es que, ¿qué van a decir los demás? Que no sé qué, no, o sea, pierda esa pena y pregunte. Porque mejor salir de esa duda y entenderlo una vez por todas que estar, seguir con esa duda y esto cómo es, que no entiendo y todo. Y la cosa es de que si, si seguimos con ese hábito, se, está, se, se están formando lagunas, ¿verdad? Entonces, y la laguna empieza pequeña, un charquito, se hace más grande, más grande, más grande, se hace una laguna, y después, ¿qué pasa? Se hace todo un lago, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces ya después ya no entendemos nada, y ya no, y nos frustramos, y ahí es donde tiramos la toalla. Sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, mejor vayamos, mantengamos charquitos, porque sí va a pasar, o sea, es, es, es normal que no entendamos todo, entonces, pero mantengamos los charquitos, no hagan, no permitamos que se hagan lagunas, ni mucho menos que se hagan lagos, pero entonces, sanjemos esa duda desde el principio, haga la pregunta que yo con gusto le ayudo, pero Prefiero, yo en lo personal, prefiero que me pregunte en el momento en la clase, cuando lo estoy explicando, a que después. ¿Por qué? Porque después entro al grupo para poder ayudarles y en vez de poder hacer la actividad, paso yo explicando lo que hay que hacer o explicando cierta, cierta cosa. Entonces perdemos esa oportunidad de practicar. Porque yo vengo y tengo que estar explicando. Entonces, mejor pregúnteme en ese momento y yo con gusto le ayudo. Y ya después, teniendo la información, podemos ya llegar al grupo y practicar. Sí. ¿Ok? okay. Así que no se preocupe. Quiero que se quite ese miedo a preguntar, que aquí estamos para ayudarle. Sí, gracias. ¿Ok? Ok, Raquel. Entonces, eh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Take okay. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.